this in his prime. I'm not talking, telling on a homie when I'm dropping dimes. It's a dub, it's a trade. Now nah, I'm going all American. I can name three different players that I'm better than. I'm an all star. And welcome to the WSL Post Show here at the Sambazon World Junior Championships hosted by Best Western, North County, San Diego is where we're at. And we had another exciting day of competition for the best 20 and under surfers, both men and women in the entire world. I'm Kaipo Guerrero, along with the wonderful Rosie Hodge. And my sobrino, <laughs> Micho Salazar. Buenas tardes, Kaipo. I'm going to start with you, Rosie. Yes. Thoughts on today? Amazing. I think it was, uh, I mean, this elimination round has been hectic. I think the conditions were super tricky today. The the juniors handled it so well. I'm just so impressed with um, how mature everyone is. Yeah. Yeah, the, the maturity level, the pace to surfing. Uh, is really impressive. Bright future for pro surfing, both on the men's and women's sides. Your thoughts, Mitchell? Yeah, it's good to see the conditions improve throughout the day, too. I really like those mid kind of day heats. Uh, obviously, some great performances out there, but I think the the real story today was Alan Cleland Jr.'s performance. He was the standout by far. Great performance by Alan Cleland, but, you know, on the women's side, we ended that women's elimination round, heat number eight, and we saw fireworks, Rosie, from Sierra Kerr, let's take a look back at this heat. Yeah, Sierra was unbelievable. But I will say this, she was up against uh, Pua and she was not having it all her own way. Like it wasn't like Sierra came through and she just had everyone comboed against the rock ropes. Like she had to build her way throughout this heat. And, um, you know, it was Pua had some incredible turns. This one right here, like on this wave, just that stab in the lip on the rail. Super impressive. Yeah, poor Makamai DeSoto looking loose out there. And it was a tight heat, Mitchell, until this wave. Yeah, and she had a six. I mean, she started off well. Sierra had a five, a mid-range score. But then it was the 9-1-7, the highest single wave score of the entire event so far. A couple of setup turns, but then the huge finish right there. We're talking about a surfer in her mid-teens right now. Goes straight up into the lip in a double overhead wave. Obviously going to get an excellent <laughs> score right there. <laughs> and appreciation from our athlete zone and uh yeah that was big that's that's a big statement you can see the numbers there 9.17 it was a tight heat until that 6.33 poor makamai de soto 6.1 rosie she did put up quite a fight and she's got a bright future she's got years still in this juniors division yeah no poor is a bright like she keep a spotlight on her because she's going to do big things but Sierra Kerr I mean the 917 <laughs> the best single wave of this event yeah she, she's put everyone on notice yeah so Mitchell you talked about Alan Cleland Jr. as the one the surfer that impressed you the most let's take a look at Alan's heat against Lennox Chell and Cleland Jr. on that Timmy Patterson versus the Australian Lennox Shell, but it was all on the backhand here of Al Jr. Yeah, he had a couple of high eights right here, and I just think he found his rhythm in this heat, was able to really capitalize on these vertical sections that he was able to hit right at the end. Got a fresh cut, and obviously it seems like it's working with the speed. And Chell had a couple decent scores too. A high seven right here for really this one turn at the end. It took him a while to come around the section, but he put up a good fight. Look at that late maneuver right there. I mean, a lot of commitment, a lot of risk. But it was this guy in the red jersey that just wasn't complete control after he dropped his first eight, first eight, Rosie. Yeah, just amazing surfing and good connection with his equipment. He said that he's on the Timmy Pattersons and they're feeling so good under his feet. And yeah, like he wasn't, he was kind of on the peripheral of our list of favorites, but now he's just got all of our attention. Yeah, Al Cleland Jr. sliding through. Let's take a look at the numbers here. 8.97, 8.83, an excellent two-wave heat score of 17.8, representing Mexico. And he's moving on into the round of 16 when we resume competition. That was a big one there for Al Cleland Jr. Well, we um, have, a, have another 
surfer that I want to hear from. And, you know, the Brazilian storm, it's so big, and but it keeps on. It's more and more low pressure because it <laughs> continues to intensify that Brazilian storm. And a new lightning bolt in that Brazilian storm is Ryan Kainalo. Ryan just won his last seat, and Ryan <laughs> is with AJ. A lightning bolt indeed. In the, in the booth, they were talking about how impressive it was that you put together every part of those waves from the outside to the inside section. What were you focusing on to make sure that you could utilize every section of the wave? Yeah, this wave needs to be good turns, and the first one I think give the, the the scar. And I'm pretty happy just to be here, and I want to to make more heat and stay in the in the best. And yeah, I'm gonna try to make one more heat tomorrow and step by step. And I, I my board's so good, and yeah, I'm pretty happy. What about your heat today gives you confidence heading into tomorrow? Yeah, my first heat, uh, I, I didn't have my the expectation like to, to be good turns and good waves. And this heat, I have to, to focus like in the full day to to pass the elimination round. But I I make it and it, I'm so confident for tomorrow. I'm gonna try my every boards to to be the, the best possible. Você quer dizer alguma coisa para a família e amigos em volta? Sim, eu estou muito feliz. Queria agradecer a todo mundo que estava assistindo, todos os meus patrocinadores. Todo mundo estava torcendo, meus treinadores físicos, meus nutricionistas, é, psicoterapia esportiva e minha família. Obrigado. Parabéns. Obrigado. All right, yeah. So, a great interview. We'll see Ryan Kainalo again. And, you know, um, AJ saying, hey, is there anything you want to say to your friends and family at home? And uh, Ryan responding, giving thanks to all the support that he's getting all the way back in Brazil. We got a lot to look forward to, gang. And uh, for that, Mitchell, let's take a look at our surf line forecast and see what the future may be bringing us here at the Samazon World Junior Championships hosted by Best Western. Wow, a lot of action, Mitch. Yeah, it's been nonstop the last few days, especially, you know, the last two. Bad weather yesterday, though. Much better weather today. The sun didn't come out, and what well, we got six to eight feet six to ten during a certain part of the day and then it drops afterwards but to me the winds are really the best thing about it light offshore then a slight onshore afterwards tomorrow looks great though i think the drop in the swell is going to be more convenient for this spot rosie look at friday bombing 20 oh, second great. interval six to ten offshore winds like that's looking really good and as we look into you know saturday sunday well i mean saturday is still green on the forecast so there's opportunities uh today tomorrow let's see uh what the call is but it's gonna be non-stop action-packed big swell <laughs> yeah it has been hey it's been a wild couple of weeks for the west coast of of the u.s especially california uh, tons of surf and that trend is going to continue that makes us happy you know what else makes, makes me happy rosie top five you got it. <laughs> Let's roll in today's top five, and we're going to start it off with moment number five, which uh, was a pretty predictable moment in my book. We knew she was one of the favorites in this event. Kira Pinkerton at number five, bro. Yeah, Kira Pinkerton started off the morning, and it was just so much fun watching this woman tackle this break because... You know, watching it from the watching it from the car park looks super tricky. Kira goes out there, she took a, a, a step up board and it just looked so comfortable under her feet. She looked really in control of this whole heat. Yeah, I think the level of comfort that she presented, uh, very few women out there really had up until the last heat of, of the day for them, which was Sierra dropping the 9.17. But I agree with you, she'd be the only surfer in history to win this event twice too if she does cap it off at the end of this week. Number four, Mitch, Jet Chilling with a strong heat at Seaside. Yeah, way better than the first round. And, you know, to me, I was talking about some of the favorites. I just think the ability of this guy to be able to get up into the lip quickly like that, present those kind of turns, and add speed to it is going to make him one of the favorites moving into the last two days. It was good for me to see the way that Jet brushed off the disappointment of the opening mm -hmm. round and the way that he fought through this round and really built throughout this heat to to match bigger scores and to see the momentum that he's going to carry from this win um, makes him an exciting pick for this event. Yeah. yeah, Jet Chilling fulfilling his potential. His good friend, Cade Madsen, at number three with his performance today. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and guess what? Mr. Hyde showed up today. Definitely posted some of the biggest scores we've seen all event long. 
And after being out for eight months, it's turns like those that got him runner-up last time this event ran. And I said it at the beginning of the event, this is my favorite to win the whole thing. I think his size, I think his backhand surfing here at Seaside Reef is going to give him the victory at the end of this one. If you think about Cade, eight months out of the water with that back injury with operation, this is his first test of his ability coming back into the professional realm. Mm -hmm. So for him, this is a huge confidence boost. Big confidence boost for Cade <laughs> Madsen. And uh, Mitch's pick. And I like the pick. But you know what? At number two, I'm going to give you a guy that I'm picking. Al Cleland Jr. Rosie on the backhand. Tippy Patterson looking smooth as silk. Yeah, Elm Keenan has just grown into himself so well. The guy is just super talented, really confident. Like, his post-seed interviews, just the, the wisdom that he's giving us, he's got this spark about him. I like that pick, Kappa. Yeah, and he's got maturity, too, uh, to go along with that. I think his career best performance at Haleiwa, the last event he served. First time ever a Mexican surfer has been in the World Pro Junior Championship, so just a big feat itself. But to, to be able to post the heat total that he had today and really demonstrate that he as of right now, is the number one pick to win. He's obviously looking great. What about the future of women's pro surfing? A bright star, number one, Sierra Kerr, Rosie. Yeah, this is such a good pick for today's top five. Sierra uh, waited for this wave. She knew what she wanted, and she went to town on it. It was just so great to see her. We all come in with expectations on Sierra because we know what she's capable of, it, of. But to see her reach, get into that nine-point range in this elimination round, man, she's going to be dangerous in this event. She can solve a Rubik's Cube in under 90 seconds too, but oh, that's yeah. not even the most impressive <laughs> thing about her. It's surfing like that, and really we're talking about attributes that a lot of people didn't even know she had. Most people think beach breaks, airs. Guess what? When it's pumping and big out there, she's also charging and dropping nines. Wow. Well, that's a lot to unwrap, um, and it was another great day of competition. We're down to 16 men and 16 women when we rejoin competition. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you, Mitchell. Thank you, Kappa. Thank you guys for watching, and remember to tune in. Check it out, worldsurfleague.com tomorrow morning. We're likely going to run, but check in for the update. And with that, I just want to tell you guys aloha and enjoy the end of the day highlights. It is a crisp morning here at Seaside Reef, North County, San Diego. Waves are absolutely firing. This could be the best World Junior Champs ever. We are in this elimination round. One-on-one -on -one matchups and the loser goes home. How about that timing right there? Right in the pocket. Luana Silva with a scorching turn off the top. Kira just attacks it right there and then staying low so that she's able to ride out. Janide Gonzalez Extavari onto the round of 16, upsetting Eve Leula Wall. Sierra Kerr versus Pua Makame de Soto. This is my heat of the day. 917, our biggest score of the event. No surprise, it was thrown down by Sierra Kerr. We're going to start up the men's elimination round right now. Here's Mexico's Al Cleland Jr. teetering <laughs> on the edge. One more snap, backhand float, airdrop to the finish. He got his number and he just turned the heat. As we see Jet, so critical and just Ooh. nailing it. Kate Matson has no problem throwing around water. And that's going to be it, Cade Matson with a dominating performance, an 8.93 and a 7.5. So far, the San Clemente Cyclone has come correct to Seaside Reef. This copyrighted event broadcast is produced by the World Surf League for broadcast around the world and may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed or used in any form without the written consent of the World Surf League.